Alright there Procrastinauts, my name's Paborian and welcome to Season 3 of the Procrastinaut Space Program. Can't be bad can it? Version 20 is upon us, it's got lots of new goodies, a lot of which I have no idea what they're all about. Let me see if I can list all these off without forgetting some. Flags, seats, uh, optimizations, the database system, the Kerbal Knowledge Base, uh, a new type of rover wheel, some new parts by Clara Larai, uh, and a few other things that I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting. Can't remember, bollocks to it all. Let's just get in this game. Now, I've had bare minimum pissing around time with this, so it's got to be pretty much as new to me as it is to most of you guys the first time you play it. However, I've experienced one hell of a stupid bug. Actually, I'm going to start a new one. Let's uh, pick that flag. I picked that one before because it's quite nice. It's a nice little flag. I like it a lot. Yeah, we're going to overwrite our old save game. Yes, I did notice a very strange bug. My Kerbal rolled down his pod. Next thing you know, the sky disappeared and the height couldn't pick between whether it wanted to be 1111111 or 999999. Very strange indeed. Hoping that doesn't happen today. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to quickly build just a little makeshift pod car thing, I think. Hello, here we go. This is just like the standard. I should have really got myself set up to do all this beforehand, but nah, eh, screw it. You guys like to see videos, and this is a good way to start episode one of season three, I, I suppose. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, just, just give me this. Yeah, th th that'll do, whatever. Launch. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to get a guy out of the way and onto the runway. Because I've got some ideas of things I want to build. Whoa! Check me out! Whoa! Now, I've never built anything like that before. That's quite strange. Shame it won't go that fast, but then it's probably because I've got, like, next to no electric charge. Ugh. Do donuts! <laughs> I've not even got any power, I'm still doing this. Exceedingly strange. EVA yourself, Jebediah. Right. Please don't do that silly little bug. Right. Everything looks fine. Yeah, basically that's what happened, and then shit got strange. We're gonna space center this shit. I don't know what happened on that loading screen then, but it looks like the rover disappeared. We're gonna start a new creation, and we're gonna start with one of the- Oh yes, of course! The editor got a complete revamp, as if I missed this feature out. Right, allow me to show you one of the new things that you can do in the editor. So you've got all your pods, right? You don't even need to use a pod no more. I'm going to use a fuel tank as my central part for this, and I'll show you why. Alright, let's do this. Uh, flip it the way it's supposed to be. If it'll go the bloody way it's supposed to be. Thank you. Jesus. God damn Christ. That's more effort than it's worth. Let's throw on one of these Kerbal seats. One of the most anticipated features, at least for me anyway. Put you on and... Put... You know what, we'll put this on as well. So you never know when you need an advanced sass, and we'll also put on some of these bad boys as well. Where are you? Yay! Flying toilet! Toilets for all! It fucking will be a toilet by the time Jeb's done sitting down on this. You all know Jeb's a bit of a hard ass, but um Jeb don't know shit when it comes to flying toilets, mate. I know I don't. Alright, let's get this two on the road. Let's launch this thing and see what it does. We're gonna send a Kerbal to the moon on this thing. Nah, we're not really. We're probably not going to get it to do anything. But okay, it's sat there. Let's switch out to our good old Kerbally friend. And we're going to go. It looks like the EVA packs have had a bit of a redesign as well. I like that. I think they've had a redesign. They look like a redesign. Let's, have a look. Let's get these out. They do look a bit different. They look like they're actually getting ready to become modular. And I think that's also a flag on his back there. Who knows? We'll get one of them out. In fact, we'll get one of them out while we're doing this here, I think. Getting close up to this little toilet of deathliness. Alright, here we go. We'll plant a flag in honour of the memory of Jebediah, because after this, he's probably going to be a smouldering crater in the ground. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't need to have a name. Alright, it's time to board your crazy contraption. Alright, here we go. <laughs> okay, so how does this work? Uh Sass on. Oh my god, it actually works. Wee! <laughs> uh, it's very awful to control. And he only wants to go one way. Whoa! Kerbal missile! Uh oh. 
Uh, yeah, it's time to get out. You see, no! <sighs> Crap. Yeah, well, I did say he was going to be a smaller mess on the floor, but we made it, like, nearly two kilometres away from where we started. That's not so bad, but I think we can do better. Let's go to the space plane hangar. Let's have another look at this. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right. Show me what you've got. Show me what you're working with. Let's throw on... Oh, I probably should mention as well, you probably noticed that there are some parts in this that aren't actually in your version of the Kerbal. It's because I've already modded it, and I've and I've reconfigured some of the CFGs in Clara's pack to work with this new version of the game. It's nothing too major, but I can't release these parts because they are not owned by me, and as such it will be infringing on the copyright to do so, so screw that noise. I ain't getting bollocked for that shit. Hey, you know what that'll do? Whee! Save launch! Oh, uh, we, we, can't, we, we can't do anything. We need to get a new curb out, so... Let's do a new pod. Let's get this out. Launch. We'll just do some speedy up times running, I think. It's not so bad. Oh, Bill! If Jeb had no hope of piloting that thing. Oh, God, don't glitch. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Let's run you away. Over to the old vehicle. And we're going to head on back to this thing. Space Center. Let's see this. Uh, go to, uh, clear the runway, and we will get. Well, right, on Tattle Spacecraft, six parts, so it's not quite the great four part probe of Scott Manley's and whatnot, but it's still a little thing and it makes a Kerbal fly. Could be interesting. In fact, there were probably a lot of good applications with this with things like the airship mod where you can make little sit on airships and you can control them with very little propellers and stuff. It'd be like little personal transports and stuff. In fact, there's the dodecahedron. Yes! That's a cool plan, Pavlovian. Shut up. We'll come back to that at a later time. Right, um, board. Let's go. This should, in all fairness, have nice, decent centre of mass and lift. It'd be cool if I could control two thrusts at once. Okay. Kerbal test two. Flying toilets mark two. Begin. Wait, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, Jeb died, so uh, that didn't go according to plan, did it? So let's F5 this shit. Oh no, we need to F9 this shit. Get this shit on the go. Let's have a look at what we've got ahead of us. Right, okay, so SAS is on. We are going to do that way, I think. We're going to activate the first. Now, I think it's just a little bit in the wrong direction, so end of all cancel. We're going to F9 this shit, I think. Resume flight before things start getting bad. And we'll remove Jeb and then we'll make some adjustments to it. I will make this work. I will make this work indeed. I know I'm foregoing a lot of, uh, what's it called? Um, other bits of content that I could be showing you, but I want to do this! I've been waiting for seats for a goddamn long time. A long time indeed. Oh, come on. Let's get you out of here, pal. Right, okay. Flight, space plane hangar. Job is done. Right, so it's blown us around. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. What if I were to move it up? That might do it the wrong way. Okay, we'll give that a go. See how that goes. Launch. <laughs> We're going to get very uh, bogged down by Kerbal stains on the floor, I think. That's never a good thing, having dirty Kerbal smeared along your floor. But I, as, as I said, oh, I don't think I might have said this, but I'm going to say it now. This is just going to be a little test save just while I get to play around with these features. I think I'm going to start doing more grandiose missions again. Towards the end of, like, Season 2, it kind of got a bit rubbish because I wasn't really doing missions, I was just pissing about for the sake of pissing about. But I think now, with some of this cool stuff, I can actually start building bases with buildable rovers and, and guff. Bear guff, everyone likes guff, let's go. Well, it's a little bit better, but it needs to be higher up, so uh, end flight, end flight, restart fly. End flight, space plane hangar. Yay! Right, so we need to make it higher, I think. Let's get... There's always ways and means we can do stuff like this, so... We're just going to get a strut, I think. Yeah, one of these bad boys. This is good enough. I'm going to put the engine on that away this time. Now, that should be a lot better than what it was, so... 
We'll give this a go. Flying Toilet Mark IV, perhaps? Do -do 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 Let's get this on the go. Flying Toilet Mark IV, do not fail me. Under pain of death. Board. Right. Yeah, I could probably into infinite fuel list just to be cheaty. Yeah, let's um, F5 this crap. Let's see what happens. Oh, it works a hell of a lot better. It's still not as good. Oh no, it is working! Right. Oh, F12! Infinite fuel! Uh, uh, it's getting too much thrust on this, I think. Um, right, let's see if we can do something. Oh, let's have to have that out of the way. Uh, I don't seem to be able to really do much here, so let's see if we can uh, get this on the go. Uh, okay, now I'm going to quickly shut down the engine and shut down that engine, and we are going to get some thrust up this way. No! Oh, God. Um... Right, okay, so Toilet Mark IV, Flying Toilet Mark IV, is possibly not the way to go. We're going to end the flight and restart it. Causing me to load my game back up, Flying Toilet Mark IV. Right, we'll do this a bit of a different way. Let's go to Space Plane Hangar and we will get rid of that. And we'll also get rid of this. Um, but we do need lateral m engines, though, for the centre of mass. Where will that be? Uh, Let's get the engine that I've got in mind on, shall we? We need one of these. One of the tiny little Rocco Max probe engines. Right, okay, so now if I get some engines of some various variety and throw them at the centre of mass, we should be on for a winner, I think, in theory. Don't forget the centre of mass is going to be brought up as and when a Kerbal comes and sits on it, so... That should be enough. <laughs> Fuck me, this is this looks like... Do you know what it reminds me of? It looks like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean... Not Mean Bean Machine, his little flying doohickey thingy, my bob. This is actually quite cool, I'm liking the idea of this now. Uh, how I, There's also something else that I'm going to need to do as well. Action groups. Uh, Custom 1, toggle engine. Custom 2, toggle engine. Um, oh, God. Toggle engine. Right, okay. Save. Maybe. No, 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 not quite. We're not done with this yet. We are going to get one of these bad boys on, I think. Where are you? Launch pad clip. Uh, oh, no, we can't can we do that, actually, because the ladder will be too big. Eh, uh, shit. Right, okay, we'll just do this as it is. Launch. Launch anyway. It will be fine. I hope it's fine. Yeah, it's more or less fine, isn't it? That's not so bad. All right, let's get Jeb out again. Third time's a charm. Although it's more like the sixth or the fifth. I can't actually remember. But either way, we're up to this thing. And this doesn't look bad. Is the infinite fuel still on? Yes, it is. Coolio! I will do this. Right, okay, this is going to be the one this is. I'm going to quick save this one. Quick saving. Uh, we're going to activate engine one. We're going to engage the SAS and we're going to give ourselves a bit of thrust. Oh, engage engine one. Wee -hee -hee -hee. <laughs> right, okay, so this is working. This is working a treat, I think. That's a. Uh, Oh no, oh no. We need we need to get some lean. I need something to help me lean. The um the thing isn't helping me that much, really. Ah, end the flight. We're gonna do one more thing. Restart flight. I know I said I wasn't gonna do one more thing this time around, but we're all honestly gonna do one more thing. End flight. <laughs> Space plane hangar. Right. We need something to uh, I don't want to make this too tall. What I'll do is I'll put one of you there. I don't know if the infinite fuel will work because it doesn't actually have an RCS thing attached to it, but we can only hope. It 
it should work, I think. I hope it works. And there's nothing I can do to attach one either because they're all quite obscenely large. I could put one on the front and back, I suppose. Uh, I'd rather not though. Oh, that's nowhere near straight. You call yourself straight, man. Jesus Christ. It's cockeyed as all hell. Hell, even I could get that straight on straight with my eyes bloody closed. Useless fucking thing. What about the sides? See how level we can actually get you onto this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this looks unbelievably fat. We're going to save this and we're going to launch it. God damn, man. I tell you what, I've got a bad case of the sniffles. Unbelievable case of sniffles. So ill, you would not believe. But hell, I'm here recording this episode for you. And I'm hoping now, college is also starting to ease up a little bit. So I'm hoping I can bring you more episodes of this in a week. If not, we're slowly getting back to the point where I'm going to be able to do it every single day. So that could be pretty good. But no promises though, people. No promises. Not confirmed or nothing. And I am also getting my own spot on the KSP TV channel soon. So that's going to be pretty damn cool. But enough about that. Let's gonna quick save. We're gonna quick save this. We are going to put that on. RCS on to boot and thrust two. Oh, nice. Okay, so how's it doing? It's looking pretty good. Whoa. So why? Oh, what the fuck? I, the RCS tanks didn't work. So let's do one more quick close, shall we? See what we can do here. Um, SAS on, RCS on. Uh, that may have been why actually I was using the wrong RCS controls. Derp, 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 derp. Oh god, I probably shouldn't be doing that, should I? So I activate these engines. Let's go. Let's uh, actually use the RCS. It's actually working to a T as well, so um, I'm quite happy with how this is turning out. Let's see if we can get this some engine hover on. Uh, Alt F12 while I'm at it and get some uh, infinite RCS. Let's see what we can do with engines. Whoa. Oh no, we're out of control. Boom! Oh well, ladies and gents. That was pretty fun. There's still a lot more things we can do, and I think I'm going to record another episode to go up this week to follow this one. So, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching this first ever episode of KSP Season Three, and I will catch you in episode. What will it be? Is this 105? Yeah, it will be episode 106. I should imagine. Yeah, I'll catch you in episode 106, people. Peace out.